Each of the GSA technical sessions will be equipped with the same audiovisual equipment. This instructional video will familiarize the session chair with that equipment and its basic functionality. Each room will be equipped with an audio mixer, a podium with a microphone, a wireless lavalier microphone, a speaker timer, a laser pointer, a data switcher, a projector and screen. Although the equipment is already set up and functional, it is helpful for the session chair, as well as the student volunteer, to be familiar with the equipment. Let's begin with the audio equipment you will find in your tech session room. Each room will have an audio mixer with various volume knobs or faders. All of the volume knobs and faders will be labeled to indicate which input they control. There are other knobs, buttons, and faders on the mixers, but your only concern will be with slight volume adjustments. If there is anything other than a slight adjustment needed on your mixer, please contact the audiovisual technician located in the hallway outside your room. Connected to each of the audio mixers will be a wireless microphone receiver. Each receiver will work with the wireless lavalier microphone assigned to that room. The lavalier microphones will not work in any other rooms. The microphone receiver will always be left on. The lavalier transmitter will be left in the off position until it is ready to use. When a presenter wants to use the lavalier microphone, clip the microphone approximately six inches from the presenter's mouth on a collar or a firm piece of clothing. Then to turn on the lavalier, flip the switch or hold down the power button. If slight volume adjustments need to be made, slowly adjust the knob or fader on the audio mixer labeled lav. Each room will also have a podium with a microphone. To test the volume level, stand at the podium and talk towards the microphone. Like the lavalier microphone, the podium microphone will be connected to the audio mixer and the volume knob or fader will be labeled podium. Only slight adjustments should be made by the session chair or student volunteer. Upon entering the room, the projection screen will be easily recognized. In front of the screen, approximately 10 to 15 feet away, will be a projector on a stand. The projector should be displaying an image onto the screen at all times during the session. If the projector has been turned off, press the power button to start the projector. The image on the screen should match what is displayed on the laptop computer located on the podium and should be centered and fill the entire screen. If the image on the screen matches the image on the laptop but is not centered on the screen, the projector or stand may have been bumped and a simple slight turn of the projector may put the image back into the correct place. If the image on the screen does not match the image on the computer, make sure the video switcher on the head table is switched to input 1, which corresponds to the laptop on the podium. Note, input 2 on the video switcher is used only if a presenter has their own laptop they would like to connect to the projector, instead of using a shared laptop. If neither of these scenarios is true, and the image on the screen is not matching the image on the laptop, contact the AV technician located in the hallway. Also, if a presenter needs to connect their personal laptop to the video switcher, contact the AV technician for this setup. All tech session rooms will be equipped with a speaker timer. The speaker timer consists of two parts, the base unit located on the head table, and the presenter display located on the podium. The timers will have two preset times. Program one will be set for 15 minutes and program two will be set for 20 minutes, each with a three minute sum up time. To switch between programs, simply press the program one button or the program two button. When the presenter begins their presentation, the timer needs to be started by pressing the Start-Stop button in the lower right corner of the base unit. When the timer is started, both the countdown clock on the base unit and the presenter display will start to count down, and the green light will illuminate on the top of both units. When there are three minutes left on the clock, the timer will change from a green light to a yellow light, indicating it is time for the presenter to take questions from the audience 
and wrap up their presentation. When the time for the presentation has expired, the timer light will change from yellow to red. When the presenter is finished with their presentation, to reset the timer, press the Start-Stop button on the base unit. Press the Repeat button, and then press either Program 1 or Program 2, depending on the length of the next presentation. If the timer presets have been altered and no longer read 15 minutes or 20 minutes, they need to be reset. To reset the timer, first press Program 1 or Program 2, whichever you need to reset. Press the Clear button on the base unit. Then, use the Total Time Up and Down buttons to set the time, 15 or 20 minutes. Next to the Total Time buttons are the Sum Up buttons. Set the Sum Up buttons to 3 minutes. At this point, the timer is reprogrammed. Finally, each room will be equipped with a laser pointer. This should be found on the podium or head table.